super painful contractions. Yeah. It's pretty painful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he was born. Well, guys, it's October 6th, and I thought I might as well come on because I'm not having a contraction. And apparently, I've been having contractions for almost six hours. They have, they've gotten a little bit worse, definitely, from when they started, but they're not, like, I can, I can cope. And they're not getting any closer together, really. I don't, maybe we'll have to see. I have, I had a couple that were stronger, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I thought I should touch base because this might actually be a birth vlog. We may be having a baby today. You can't see, Isaac is a shadow in the night. <laughs> Because the lamp's shining on my face so you can see me, but you can't see him. <laughs> oh, trying to stay relaxed. I'm telling you people. It's not fun. But anyways, that's that's where we're at right now. And it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's fun, because I haven't slept. And I don't see it in my foreseeable future. <laughs> Well, guys, it's now almost five o'clock. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired and super painful contractions. I mean, I can get through them, but <laughs> make no joke. This ain't fun. And so, that's where I'm at right now. And um, we're going to be going to the hospital, I think, pretty soon. But, um, yeah, here comes another one. Oh my gosh, it helps actually if I have someone to talk to. They're not as bad usually, but it's pretty painful. Oh my gosh. I just had my bloody show. I'm super happy about that. That is so awesome. So awesome. Oh my gosh. There's like progress. You know there's progress. Oh, oh my gosh.
video. Oh, and, um, oh, okay. and I think that's the full cool name and, and we've been using it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems appropriate. It does seem appropriate. I am so sad. Yeah. So then, um, closer together on the box. Centimeter apart on the box and close on the box. It's kind of yeah. Did you have lots of hair? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. There's your brother. Oh, I can't see a thing. Is there any way to open I didn't that? My brother was born. That's mine. Yeah. yeah, he was born. Look at him. <laughs> Wanna see him? So much hair as you. You're right. We had a tough day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? I knew my brother was tired today. <laughs> Did you? I'm so yeah. excited. So how long was he? 22 inches. 
Yeah, here's a behemoth. Present. It's my present from you mm -hmm. because I'm gonna be the nice. Because we're know proud that of you that you're a big brother. Oh, yeah. Because you know I was gonna be the we best. We won't open it ever. right. We're not gonna open it right now, though, okay? I will. I'll just give it yeah. to Grandma. Change the diaper. Just lean a bit closer so that you can hear. Can you hear it? Well, guys, we get to come home today. It's now October 9th. It's Thanksgiving Monday here in Canada, and I'm very thankful that I get to come home today. So yeah, I'm gonna wanna have to sit I'm gonna wanna sit down and have like a, a full on chat about what happened with my birth and everything because it's quite the tale. But as for today, basically it's just let's get out of here. Oh, I've had to stay in the hospital way longer than I wanted to because I had um postpartum hypertension. I have, I should say. And since I already am gun shy when it comes to getting my blood pressure taken, um, like I'm very sensitive to who takes it and if it's a machine versus not a machine and stuff like that. Um, so I'm already like nervous that way and then when they tell me that there's anything wrong, I, I'm immediately nervous more, which of course makes it go higher. But they have me medicated for that now. I feel happy about it, so hopefully I can just learn to chill about it so that when I come back, I have to see my the OB that did my cesarean in a week and she's gonna check it again. And I don't know if it's gonna be any better because when, anyways, it depends on who takes it. And there's nothing I can do about it. So I had a semi-private, like a shared room, and it was horrible. Um, and so I just decided to get a private room because they had one that became available. And the sun has been rising this morning. It's very beautiful. It's so much nice to have your own room. And I'm so glad I did because apparently I heard over the intercom that the baby... <laughs> that would have been next door to us, like be a, like a sheet wall would have separated us. Um, actually had, like went blue and had to be resuscitated in the middle of the night last night. So 
I was so happy that I made the choice to move to a private room because <clears throat> when he was when he fell asleep I was able to sleep the problem was was that he didn't want to sleep from I think about 2.30 to 5.30 so he was up starving like just nursing basically the whole that whole time but he did sleep for like three or four hours yeah he slept from 8 to 12 p.m. so or I guess 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. so that was pretty amazing problem was I didn't know he was gonna do that so I did not sleep oh. <sighs> so tired like don't even understand but yeah I thought I should come on here since I have nothing to do I'm just waiting for Isaac to come pick me up and then we can hit the road Jack and not come back to this place it really amazing nurses the last two days so that was really nice because as I told you I'm super sensitive to the type of people that work with me so that was really nice I even my one nurse um, Rodika she oh, so sweet she went and got me ice cream because I was like oh I've been craving ice cream because I had gestational diabetes so I couldn't have any but my blood sugars were great after the birth and so I was allowed to eat whatever I wanted and so I was like man I wish I could have ice cream and she's like I'll get you some so she went downstairs and found ice cream for me an ice cream cone for me so that was super awesome look who's starving Marvin Little, little man. They introducing Mr. Joseph Theodore Cabrera. That's who you are. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go home? Look at how cute you look. Oh, I know the stupid things. Look at that. Okay, heading home, guys. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> Thirty years later. Okay.